guys, I'm the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my channel. I like to talk about content covering various academic qualification and professional certifications, including life-changing business ideas and concepts. Today's topic is very, very important. It is very relevant for students doing ACCF2 Management Accounting, ACCF5 Performance Management, CMA Part 1, CPA, CIA, or CA. So today I'm going to talk about high-low method. High-low method is a technique used to separate fixed and variable cost from total cost. So before we go to high-low method, understand how total cost is calculated. I'm giving you a simple equation to calculate total cost, which will then make you understand why we have a need for high-low method. So let's have a look at this. If you intend to calculate total cost, the formula is very simple. The formula is like this total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost per unit multiplied by the number of units number of units so if I tell you fixed cost are 20,000 let's say it's a rent of a factory fixed cost are 20,000 Variable cost per unit is let's say $10. Now this $10 includes cost of direct material, direct labor, variable production overrides, which I've already explained in my previous video on cost and cost classification. So we are assuming variable cost to be just $10. Okay, so $10 is variable cost for one unit and assume we are talking about 2000 units. Number of units, 2000. So you can easily calculate total cost, fixed cost is 20,000, variable cost for one unit is 10 and we are talking about 2,000 units when you multiply it comes to 20. So your total cost is 40,000. This is how we calculate total cost. One thing everybody needs to remember is if you are asked to calculate total cost you require three information. You need to know how much is the fixed cost you need to know how much is variable cost per unit you also need to know what are the number of units we are talking about how many units we need to calculate total cost for so unless you know fixed cost unless you know variable cost per unit and the number of units these three information you require to calculate total cost now what if information is given like this you are given the number of units in January, the company made 1,000 units, 3,000 units. In March, 7,000 units. And the total cost is given. Remember, total cost is given. We don't know how much is fixed, how much is variable. And in the end, we are asked to calculate total cost if 5,000 units are made and sold. So, how can I calculate total cost for 5,000 units when I don't know how much is fixed cost and how much is variable cost? What is given instead is just total cost. So what we are going to use is, we are going to use the tool and technique of high-low method. High-low method is used to segregate fixed cost and variable cost from total cost. So here we are given total cost. I don't know in this total cost how much is my fixed cost and how much is variable cost per unit. So let's learn how to use high-low method to calculate the required information. So the very first step we, we calculate variable cost per unit. Now in order to calculate variable cost per unit we need to identify from the units, from the activity, from the production what is the highest production here. So if you look at the highest production is 7000 units so I'm just marking it as high and the lowest production which is 1000 units once you mark the high and the low production look at the corresponding cost so this is the highest cost total cost and this is the lowest total cost here a note of caution please remember whenever you are highlighting high and low always start with the output the units Identify the lowest units, identify the highest unit, then go on the corresponding cost. Another thing you need to remember is, here I have arranged this, 1, 3 and 7. 
when you're attempting an examination question it could be haphazard you have to arrange them from lowest to highest so that you know what is the lowest and what is the highest once high and low has been marked I can calculate variable cost per unit the formula is very simple here please pay attention it is difference in cost divide by difference in units now when I talk about difference I'm talking about the high and low so difference in cost what is the highest cost 480,000 I'll write that in the numerator 480,000 minus the lowest cost which is 240,000 divide by in the denominator I have the difference in units the highest is 7,000 always write the highest first 7,000 units minus the lowest unit is 1,000 So 480 minus 240 is obviously 240,000 and 7 minus 1 is 6,000 units. So when you divide, you get $40. So this is your variable cost per unit. And this exercise, what we have done here, very much supports our conceptual understanding so if you notice when we produce from 1000 to 7000 when the production increased from 1000 to 7000 the total cost increased from 240 to 480 so as a result of producing 6000 extra units your total cost increased by 240 means the production increased by 6000 units and your cost increased by 240 and by definition we know when the production increases only the variable cost increases fixed cost does not in the short run so from 1000 to 7000 when production increased by 6000 the cost increased from 240 to 480 so this is the change in cost this is the change in cost this is the change in units so if there is a change in unit the only the variable cost will increase so this is the variable cost for making 6000 units so what is the variable cost for one unit 40 so out of these three information I got this amount my variable cost per unit is 40 now the next important information I need is how much is the fixed cost which I gave you here but I need to know how much is fixed cost here because I only have total cost now I'm going to calculate fixed cost see how it is done the very first thing what you can do is just take any of these amounts any so I take 320 so my total cost which I'm assuming is 320 here 320 is my total cost and we all understand that total cost is a combination of fixed cost and variable cost because I took 320 so I am looking at how many units are there this 320 is as a result of producing 3000 units so all right I am taking 3000 units and what is my variable cost of one unit 40 so I just multiplied by 40 so 3000 into 40 is 120,000 so this is my variable cost if my total cost is 320 which includes variable cost of 120 so from total cost when I minus variable cost I will be left with fixed cost so 320 is the total cost if I subtract my total variable cost 320 minus 120 I'll be left with my fixed cost of 200,000 this is how we calculate fixed cost now I can give you another example what if I have not chosen 320, I have chosen 480. Now see, am I getting fixed cost the same? Let's check. Assuming I took 480,000. I take total cost 480,000. We all understand that total cost is a combination of fixed cost and variable cost. Because I took 480, how many units are there? 7,000. So I am taking 7,000 units. 
what is my variable cost already calculated 40 so I'm going to multiply it by 40 so when you multiply it comes to 280,000 so if total cost is 480 included in this is a variable cost of 280 so 480 minus 280 you will still get 200,000 which is the fixed cost now here our theoretical concepts are proved that whether you're making 3000 units or 4000 units your fixed cost is the same now that we know that fixed cost is 200,000 and variable cost is 40 we are able to you know use the same formula and calculate total cost why because we have been asked to calculate total cost for 5000 units so yes we can uh, you know plug the numbers in fixed cost we just calculated 200,000 variable cost of one unit is 40 and the question says calculate total cost for 5000 units so for one unit it is 40 I am multiplying by 5000 units so fixed cost remains as 200,000 now when you multiply this this comes to 200,000 again so your total cost comes to 400,000 So the total cost for 5,000 unit is 400,000. So guys, I hope you have understood how to use HILO method. If you have any questions relating to HILO method, leave a comment. I will respond to you. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell notification button so that you get my videos on a timely basis. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time.